All right, quick walk around tour on another vehicle going up for sale. You know, can't keep them all, gotta make room for new toys. This is a wonderful 1974 Gran Torino Elite, also known as the Ford Elite. It was only known as the Gran Torino Elite in 1974. And it, we're just gonna do a spin around, and talk about it a little bit. So Jen and I bought this out in Las Vegas in 2022, and it was not running. It had been sitting for about 15 or 20 years, I was told. I did a video on that so i'll try to plug the links to those down below in case you want to check them out to see the full journey uh, but i paid 3800 dollars for this thing and it was cool because oscar the guy we bought it from he held on to it for like two weeks before we could get out there he let us use his driveway to get it operating and and drivable and then we we road tripped this thing home and have really been enjoying it since uh, so i guess i'll do the spin around you know, glance at the interior. Oh, we're on wide angle, aren't we? Okay, that's a little bit better. That way it doesn't stretch things out, make it look longer than it really is. It, it kind of kills me to sell this car. So I'm putting it up for $6,500. And some people might say, that's ah, way too much money. But like, again, I bought it for $3,800 without even running. And, and you'll see these cars, you know, you get a basket case for a couple grand. Like this thing, I wouldn't hesitate to hop in it and drive out to California right now. You know, that's how much I trust it. So let's talk about some of the things that have been replaced since we got it. Uh, brand new tires, all four of them. Brand new gas tank, new fuel pump, fuel filter, carburetor kit, clean that out. Let's pop this hood open. We got the goose man, he's just, you know, I took him out for a ride because turbo was inside and I can't always leave those two alone. Uh, brand new master cylinder, new belt, replace the seals in the power steering pump brand new battery a couple years old and you can see it doesn't have the factory tie down as far as well look at that that's just a beautiful car from the 70s guys uh, as far as like uh, leaks go it does have a little bit of dampness you know it doesn't drip all over the driveway but normal stuff uh, rust wise super clean underneath the only rot is over on this uh radiator support rotted through on the one side but when i got state inspection last year that was one thing he was like ah you know if this gets worse might need to be addressed uh, brand new sway bar links and i think we did uh i did front brake pads on this too it's got drum brakes in the rear tons of meat on those when i last looked at them it does have some body rust so on the bottom of this door you got a couple little rust holes uh the vinyl top was you know, it had rust holes underneath there. So what's on here now is a Raptor liner with a clear coat. And it looks amazing. You know, it really, it looks better than the vinyl top in my opinion. Unless you get up close and you, and you see the fine details, then okay, no, it's, it's not amazing. So it should have a new vinyl top put on. Uh, more rust, we got a little bit of rust there. And if you look at the, the previous videos, like again, I'll plug them all down below. But when we had this carpet up, couple of rust holes that we we patched up down there so it's a brand new carpet because the gus man uh, dug a hole in it <laughs> the, the carpet that we had and see at the bottom of this a little bit of surface rust they're not rust holes or anything paint chip there uh this car shines beautifully like i mean if you buff this out when i had my buddy uh, over at uh, jacob's auto body do it he it looked like a million dollars like right now we got dirt down on here i mean the least i could have done is clean it before taking this video right but that's just not my style so the car can look beautiful uh, swinging around the back now some people think these are ugly i think it's just a beautiful car these alloy wheels super cool i thought they were hubcaps at first and these buff out to be like i mean just blind you shiny bright a few dents on some of the trim around these wheels Let's go in here. Uh, look, so this is the, what the original carpet looked like. You gotta really dig your fingers in it. See, we got some rust through in here. The body's definitely, uh, you know, it's doing its thing as the NJ Transit train goes by. More paint kind of like flaking off on that. And geez, I guess that pretty much tells you everything. Most of what you need to know. Uh, now, if I was to sell this car, for four grand i don't know i might just hold on to it for that because it's such a fun driver i'll take it for a spin now go out to the flea market uh this lens had a big crack on the bottom i just hit it with clear silicone and you can see it hasn't been a problem since it's been two years you know you just gotta do what you gotta do inspection expired should pass wipers do work they don't always park back down on their own though uh, all right let's uh, let's fire this up here 
Uh, always starts perfect. You can see we're missing the horn button on there, you know. Oh, okay, it's not working. I was working uh, yesterday when I drove it. So always fires right up, just super minty. Oh, the headliner is missing. So, you know, if you're tall like me, you might choose to just leave it that way. It's just not like the, the top doesn't ever get hot or anything. It's totally fine. Maybe clean up the rust or something. See, we took this on the hot rod power tour in 2023. It's a glance in the back. I mean, the seats are, are really nice. They do have a little bit of like a, I don't know, old old vinyl smell to them. It's like, I don't know, I would just call it the classic Ford smell. But uh, if I think anything else here, Otherwise, I just bang it through some gears. Uh, this thing rides like a darn cloud. And I, I know you guys hear that all the time about Cadillacs and everything else, but uh, this thing, I don't know, guys. It's it, even just driving it right now. I'm like, why am I selling this again? Oh, that's right, because you can't keep, you know, 20 cars. It's like, it just doesn't make any sense to do that. Acceleration, we got the 351 Cleveland. Factory exhaust, shifts perfect, plenty of acceleration. It just runs like a dime, spins like a dime, whatever you want to say. I don't know. Very responsive steering. You know, you can steer with one finger, no problem. You get a little bit of body roll, but that's that's the feel of these cars. That's that's what it's supposed to feel like. And it feels good. Here we go, boy. Going for a car ride? Yeah. As far as gauges, the tachometer, speedometer, ammeter, clock, oil pressure, all that works. What doesn't work is the fuel gauge and sometimes the temp gauge works, most of the time it doesn't. AM radio did work great, doesn't work now, haven't looked into it. Missing one knob there too. Even when it did work, the speakers weren't awesome. Heat works, AC works too, might need to be recharged, haven't tried it this year yet. Uh, but I think this needs like a new diaphragm in here because it's kind of hard to, to slide this over and sometimes it works right sometimes it doesn't you can cruise down the highway at 70 75 all day long this thing gets uh, you know 17 18 miles to the gallon it's not uncommon hand crank windows so you never have to worry about those breaking and i mean you can push this thing up to 80 or 90 no problem it just kind of floats over all the bumps look at it drive straight as an arrow and coming from 90 mile an hour you can lay on those brakes very responsive no pulsations. This is not an adjustable steering column and as per usual normal Ford stuff, there's a little bit of play up and down. Yeah, you can repair that or just leave it alone and it'll be fine. You only get a driver's side and rear view mirror, no passenger side mirror. And uh, this did have a little adjustable cables down there, but they're not currently hooked up right now. You'd have to take the door panel off to slide those through and hook them up. Listen, the, the real sell point here is that this car He's a runner driver, reliable for me anyway, and uh, it looks good. You know, it's it's a fun car to drive. People love it because it just says 70s like nothing else, and you don't see them around. You know why? Because they're all rotted. They're all rusted out. Like this one came from the desert and it still has rust. Yo, like that guy, he recognized the Torino. Biggest downside for me is that it's an automatic transmission, and that kind of just kills my soul. Even though for this car. It, it fits the bill. Like, you wouldn't want a manual swap this. I don't think so. I'm gonna go take Goose for a walk around the park here. I'll let you know if there's something else I think of. They got a little community yard sale going on here today. Come on, Gus. Come on. And the two, three, and five dollar bins. Check this out. Five dollar bin, we got a rigid pipe wrench and a Proto USA adjustable. Five bucks a piece? Yeah, I'll take those. Actually, I kind of like this Proto too. You know, get a deal on all three. Or you get the uh, my phone for five bucks, right? 15 bucks for all that, all USA made. I could, probably even could have negotiated, but I would have I felt bad, you know? Come on, Bubs, let's go, come on. Let's go back to the car. Where are we going, boy? Was that fun, boy? All right, ended up hosing the dirt off. She looks way better. Time for a sunny cruise.
guy just rolled up to the pizza shop with an e-bike that has a windshield on it. And look at that seat. Holy smokes. <laughs> Thing's ready for a cross-country trip. Yeah, it's in 1974. Sam, the car parked up front. We got a beggar on our hands. What is it, boy? What? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, sit. They say cheese is not good for you, but a little human food do you good, buddy. Keep that coat healthy. Yeah, this bridge is so funny. Uh, it's, it's really skinny, but there's there's plenty of room to get by. Some people just stop and they they get panicked, even in, in small cars. That's, so it can be slow going on busy days. I think the bridge commission's talking about replacing it, but it's been here for, geez, probably well over 100 years. I just remember when I first got my license driving over this in a 1983 Grand Marquis. <laughs> that was a little nerve wracking, but then you, you kind of get used to it. I mean, it helps when you have a car you don't care as much about either, but it has a little scrub C channel there, so you'll, your tires will hit that. I mean, you can see everybody hits this stuff. We're going to just take the Jersey side of the river all the way up to Lamberville, across to New Hope. Check it out up there. Maybe find a good spot for you to cruise around, huh? Guys, what is this? Oh, your beach is not here. Water's too high. Wow, it's beautiful today, though. Nice and clear and flowing fast. What'd you find, boy? What'd you find? Sometimes you gotta just let them go. I mean, look at that tail. It's up. He's enjoying it. So that's it. If you're looking for a sweet 70s ride that turns back the time every time you drive it, well then, this is the car for you. If you're looking for an immaculate one, this is not. You know, go spend eight or 12 grand. I've seen them sell for somewhere thereabouts. Maybe you'll get lucky, find a cream puff sitting in the garage. If you want one that uh, has some dings and dents, you can leave dirt on it and it's no big deal. But then when the sun pops, nobody even notices it. 
then this is the one. So thanks for tuning in the video. I'll be out cruising this thing, enjoying it, unless somebody makes me a reasonable offer. See you guys again soon.